I just wanted to show you Smoky Bear Big Book. Um, it is in both uh, English and Spanish. Um, what we do is we show the story of the live bear cub, and then on the back side is the story for teachers to read in oh, wow. English and Spanish, depending on whether they uh, uh, are bilingual and what uh, the kids' audience are. And so you also see that on the back, the teacher can see what the picture is. And so when they're showing it, they can point and, oh, and it's made so that... It's like an easel. It, that's right. It is an easel. Oh. And the uh, artist, Joe Kolka, um, was also the one who did our Woodsy Owl ABC book. Mm -hmm. But they're beautifully, <laughs> colorfully illustrated. That's a muscular bear there. That's right. <laughs> And, um, but one of the main things that we want to do is to make sure that um, the, everybody knows the five rules of fire prevention. Mm -hmm. The first, of course, is only you can prevent wildfires. And we mean human-caused wildfires. <laughs> this is where we want you to be careful with fire. Then for this one, uh, we want you to make sure that you're always careful with fire. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good fire. There's campfires and, and all sorts of other fires that you have. And we just want to make sure that for every fire that you start, you put them out. And then this one is, we want you never to play with matches or lighters. That's a bad thing to do. If you see anybody playing with matches or lighters, go tell an adult mm -hmm. or go tell Smokey. <laughs> Number four is, always watch your campfire. Campfires are a lot of fun. You like it, but we want to make sure there's always an adult near the campfire and you never leave this alone. Mm -hmm. And s'more is a great. <laughs> and then if you have a campfire, we want you to make sure that it's completely out. So in this one, uh, they're drowning the fire with water mm -hmm. and we want to make sure you make campfire soup out of it. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure it's very cold before you leave the area. So that's the important thing to do, and that's one of the reasons we held the event here, aside from this uh, birthday. We wanted to make sure that people knew, uh, teachers especially, and wildfire prevention specialists, um, that this was out. It's available for use, and this is the debut day. Wow, and people can still get this book, even though this promotion is over for today. Well, yeah, that's correct. We, we had uh, 500 copies here for folks who came by, but as I said, on symbols.gov, um, they can, uh, teachers can get a copy for free to use in their classrooms and uh, fire prevention specialists can order a copy and what we do is we sell these at cost and we just want to make sure that um, it gets out and is very well used. Wow, it's beautifully illustrated. Oh, gorgeous. And it's certainly an important last, uh, lesson yep. that uh, seems to be a, a classic lesson as we remember this from our childhood. So. That's right. Well, you know, just be careful with everything. I mean, you're careful when you're walking across the street. You're not going to leave candles burning in your mm -hmm. house. Don't leave a fire burning out in the grasslands or the forest. Hmm. Wow. And this is a beautiful space in which to have this event. And so I'm going to go over and get some ice cream. I understand there still might be a, some I think there is some left. Please go enjoy. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing this with us. This has been a fantastic event, and we can see that the kids enjoyed it as well. Oh, yes. Everybody's had a good time here. Thank <laughs> you so right. much for coming by. See you later. Bye-bye. Well, I missed the story that you were... I understand that you were telling stories for the kids. Yes. Uh, I got the great honor of reading the Smoky Big Book to a but about a hundred little kids sitting on rugs in front of me. I, I wish we had pictures of that because that would be interesting to see. That That's not something you experience every day though, right? Right. It was a, a, a real privilege and, and very cute. All these little faces in front of me. Yeah, in this room, which is a really not, a very nice room for you know events like this. So, And the natural light was coming in. And So what was the story about? Well, it's about the true story of, of Smokey Bear and how he was a little bear cub mm -hmm. in New Mexico and living happily in a forest and then a, a wildfire started and how he had to climb up a tree to, to save himself. And then later, a game warden found him after the wildfire was put out and, and they took him to a veterinarian and, and then the game warden who found him his daughter uh, brought, got to help care for him at their home. And mm. so that's how Smokey was uh, healed from his, his burns in the forest fire. So that would have been 1945? 
1944. 44, okay, great. Yeah. So now this is why we're celebrating the uh, celebration, that, well, this is the birthday celebration. Right. But this was an actual bear. Yes, a mm -hmm. real bear. Mm -hmm. And then he was flown from New Mexico to the National Zoo in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. where he lived the rest of his life as a hero and, and the... Uh, spokesperson for fire prevention. You probably still have some pictures of the original Smokey Bear somewhere around here then, right? Yes. Okay. All right, we'll have to take the, seek those out. So um, when you're telling kids a story, then they'll, they'll know. Did you show them pictures of the uh, actual? No, we read out of the book, which is illustrated. Okay. Well, that And, and that's the book that, that uh, we were passing out today. Right. And this is from the book? Yeah. This and there's is... a placard that... Um, and this is for you. This was uh, given yeah. to you today. To, so you're yeah. going to carry this to your office. Yeah, I'm one of many who helped work on the book. So I'm honored oh. that, they, that they... Did you write? Yeah, we helped write. And did you meet the artist? Yes. Okay. Worked with him during the making during of During the, the illustration. Book. Okay. We'll have to come back and maybe meet the artist some other time, too. Yeah. Was the artist here today? Yeah, he's here. He's here now? Yeah. I just had my book signed by him. Oh, is he over there in the corner? Yep. Okay. Can we go meet him? Sure. Thank you very much. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thanks. I'm just going to oversee while you're doing that. Just okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we are on YouTube. Hi. Hey. I'm Melanie. I'm in Hi, Melanie. research and development. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Would you like a sign for you? Yes, please. All right. And the illustrations are beautiful. M-E-L. A-N-I-E. Oh, actually, if you could put for it, Tristan. Okay. T-R-I-S. T-R-I-S. T-A-N. And Gareth. G-A-R. G-A-R. E-T-H. Thank you very much, Melanie. Appreciate that. Thank you. My pleasure. Now, does this happen to you every day that you get a chance to no. sit down and do autographs <laughs> for people like all. this? It's, uh, it's where I have I do book signings, but I have some of my own books published. But it's, it's always nice, you know, because the majority of my time is spent solo in my studio. So it's nice to see when. Uh, yeah, it's a solitary life, right? Yes, in general, in general. Yes. But it's nice to see that your work is well received. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, here comes another stack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wrote the name on my grandchildren because they are okay. little.